Have you ever noticed how a calm mind can really set the stage for a good night's sleep? That's the idea behind our new podcast, Good Sleep. Greg, our host from Optimal Relationships Daily, is here to help ease you into a peaceful night's rest with some positive affirmations. And these affirmations aren't just comforting, they can help ease anxiety and nurture positive thoughts, setting you up for true good sleep. So press play on good sleep tonight because a good tomorrow starts with a good night's sleep. Just search for good sleep in your podcast app and be sure to pick the one from Optimal Living Daily. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2534. How to pay off $10,000 of debt in one year by Robert Farrington of thecollegeinvestor.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, and welcome to our Sunday bonus episode where I share an article from one of the other podcasts in our network. Today's post comes from Optimal Finance Daily, where articles covering money and personal finance are read to you every day. And you can find Optimal Finance Daily wherever you're listening to this. Please subscribe or follow to get episodes every day. And with that, here's Diana with the post and commentary as we optimize your life. How to Pay Off $10,000 of Debt in One Year by Robert Farrington of thecollegeinvestor.com. It's that time of year where we look back on what we have and haven't accomplished and decide what to tackle in the second half of the year. Even though we're in extraordinary times, most people will still have getting out of debt and building wealth as top goals. If eliminating some of your debt while simultaneously improving other parts of your financial life are among your goals, this post is for you. It's time to take back control and kick your debt to the curb. It can sound like paying off large amounts of debt in a short period of time is impossible, but it's not. You can even pay off $10,000 of debt in just one year. Whether you have student loan debt or credit card debt, there are options. Here's how you can pay off $10,000 of debt in one year. Step one, work backwards. The first step in any good debt payoff plan is knowing how much money you need to come up with in order to meet your goal. Saying that you're gonna pay off $10,000 of debt in one year isn't good enough. You need to break down that number so that you can hit smaller milestones. The simplest way to make this calculation is to divide $10,000 by 12. This would mean that you need to pay $833 per month to have contributed your goal amount to your debt payoff plan. This number, though, doesn't factor in interest on your debt. If you want to see the impact of interest and how much you can save by accelerating your debt payoff plan, you can use a debt calculator like the one provided by Bankrate. For an example, we're using a $10,000 credit card balance at a 16% interest rate. In order to pay the balance off in one year, payments of $907 per month would be needed, which would save over $4,000 in interest, a huge savings. You can use a debt repayment calculator to tally up all of your current debts and see what you could save with an accelerated debt payoff plan. I can tell you that after a decade of helping people get out of debt, simply getting organized and understanding your debt is the number one reason why people don't make forward progress. Number two, decide on your strategy. If you only have one loan or credit card, you don't need to worry about coming up with a strategy, other than how much your monthly payments will be, of course you can simply choose to automate your payments and consider yourself done. However, if you're working with multiple loans and debts, you'll have to determine in what order you'd like to pay those off. There are two popular strategies for doing this, the debt snowball and the debt avalanche. Debt snowball method. With this method, you'll list your debts from smallest balance to largest balance and work on paying off the smallest balance while making minimum payments on everything else. Once the smallest balance is paid off, you move on to the next smallest while still meeting all other minimum payments. This is the method popularized by Dave Ramsey, and the goal is to get some early wins by eliminating small debts, which in turn boosts your attitude towards paying off the remaining debts. Plus, putting that extra money towards the next debt helps eliminate it faster. Debt Avalanche. With this method, you list all of your debts from highest interest rate to lowest interest rate, then you focus on putting all of your extra money towards your highest interest rate while making minimum payments on the rest. This method is mathematically the lowest cost approach to paying off your debt, but it could also mean a longer stretch before you see wins. 
There's a lot of debate over which method you should choose, and there's no right answer. The debt snowball method is a great option if you like quick wins and want to eliminate smaller bills. The debt avalanche method is great if you're focused on saving the most money in interest. Once you pick your strategy, you should also consider how often you'll make extra payments and whether or not to automate your plan. Step three, free up money in your budget. At a glance, paying off $10,000 in a year can seem like a huge number. However, once broken down, coming up with the extra money isn't as hard as it seems. If you're serious about getting rid of your debt, one of the first places you should look is your current spending. There are always ways to stretch more out of a budget with minimal effort. Here are some things to consider. Monitor your spending. It's impossible to know where to cut back if you don't know where you're spending. You can sign up with a service like Personal Capital for free. Personal Capital will automatically monitor and categorize your spending after you link your bank accounts. Participate in an uber frugal month. Cutting back on spending has just as much to do with mindset as it does with actual needs. Early retirees, Mr. and Mrs. Frugalwoods, have had immense financial success through practicing frugality without feeling deprived. In January, they host an Uber Frugal Challenge for a month. This challenge can help you lower your costs and discover alternative ways of utilizing your money. Easily save an extra $500 per month. It's very likely that you are needlessly spending money without realizing it. I have a post that breaks down 15 simple ways you can squeeze an extra $500 out of your budget each month. If all of these ideas are applicable to your situation, you'll free up $7,000 over the course of a year. Budget for your personality. One of the biggest mistakes new budgeters make is trying to adopt a system that doesn't fit their personality and that they won't stick with. The trick to making a budget work is finding a way to make it a regular part of your life. Step four, earn more if you need to. While it's always a good idea to trim away the fluff in your budget, it's also important to look for ways to earn more if needed. Depending on how much extra money you need, you may be able to get by with putting in a couple hours per week overtime, or you could start a side hustle to earn more. Earning more money is a perfectly viable option for the majority of the US population. This was one of the most important strategies for myself when it came to paying off my student loan debt. I was able to earn an extra $2,000 per month by selling stuff on eBay and starting this blog. Step five, track your progress. Paying off $10,000 in one year is not an easy feat. It will take hard work and you'll probably have to recommit to your goal a few times. One of the best ways to keep yourself motivated is to continually track your progress and celebrate the small wins. When things get hard, don't give up. In a year from now, you'll be thanking yourself for sticking with the plan. Finally, make sure you do reward yourself at small milestones. It's a lot of work to pay off debt, so congratulate yourself every now and then. You just listened to the post titled How to Pay Off $10,000 of Debt in One Year by Robert Farrington of thecollegeinvestor.com. We're driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search, match with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com health. Just go to indeed.com slash health right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. I couldn't agree more with Robert on the debt repayment calculator. There are so many free ones online, so I'd encourage you to do a quick Google search. The one I used allowed me to enter each of my debts, their interest rate, minimum payment, and total balance. 
Then based on my knowledge of my income and other expenses, I came up with the amount of money I plan to throw at my debt each month. And the calculator showed me how much I should pay towards each debt to pay it all off the fastest. I use the avalanche method, which is when you pay off the highest interest rate debt first, but I know many people also like the snowball method where you start with your smallest debt to build some momentum and confidence. The great thing about the calculator I used was that it showed me what both options would look like with an easy click of a button. And it made the avalanche choice an easy one because I could see that I would be debt-free so much faster. Whichever method you choose, you'll be well served by using one of these debt reduction calculators and getting yourself organized. I also loved updating my plan anytime I found myself with extra funds to throw at my debt. It was so satisfying to see the calculator reduce the time it would take me to get debt free. Going about it this way was like gamifying the process. And so if you're a competitive person like me, it can be very fun to watch yourself win against your original debt freedom plan. And that will do it today. Have a great day and weekend. Thank you for listening. And I'll be back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.